Here's something that almost caught me out. I'm about to list this Y buffer board on eBay. I pulled it from, well, we pulled it from a cracked screen telly. Uh, and so, since the TV worked before the uh, Wii controller hit it, we kind of assumed that it'd be okay, but just before I was about to list it, I noticed that uh, this buffer chip actually had a hole in it. And so, I got thinking, that's probably not good. So, I got my ohm meter out, and I tested this, and I found there was no short between the VS and ground, but there were shorts between VS, uh, uh, not VS and G, this is uh, the y, scan, y main output, um, there were shorts between the Y main output and these output nodes, which tells me they're bad, because it should all appear open. So I'm just going to demonstrate how you can test this so you can avoid either selling dodgy parts and also um, avoid getting them themselves and checking if the boards are damaged. Because I've got another buffer here from that PS50 uh, C98HD that I'm repairing right now which has got a blown buffer chip on it and the same test also applies to it. So I'll do both at the same time to demonstrate how this test can be done. Okay, I'm going to try to do this with a tripod now, a little uh, tiny tripod I got from a discount shop. We'll see how it goes. Set my multimeter up. Uh, what you'll be listening for is the beep. So, set on continuity, so when I short the leads, you get a beep. Basically, you've got to locate uh, the uh, sustain output, which is usually one of these connectors where all the pins are joined together on the PCB. So you choose one of them, and then you go to your suspect IC, and you basically run it along these bare pins here. Oh, that's not good, is it? It's beeping at me. <laughs> and you see as I run it along, you get the occasional beep, which means some of the outputs are short. Then flip this latch up and then do the other side because there are pins on the other side and we find that it's shorted in some places now look at this IC here um, so this is one FFC on the panel which drives one sixth of the panel because there's six of them if we go along here along here we find that's okay so this chip here is probably okay now this is pulled from a cracked screen TV and when you hit a screen a uh, plasma screen very hard, you run the risk of uh, shorting the electrodes together. And when you do that, you'll damage the buffer board. So I'll go along here and we'll test this one. Oh, that one's not healthy either. So this chip and that chip are dead. Now, interestingly, this chip has no visual defect. I've tested this before. And uh, let's see if I can get this properly. Uh, so that's a bit awkward to do. But I'll just get this one here. And so this one has uh, a, probably one, maybe two lines there, which are short. So unluckily, that whole chip has failed. No visual signs on it that it has failed. Only this one has a hole blown in it. So if you pull a board from a cracked screen TV, make sure you do this test on all of them. I'm not going to do it on all of them, because I know this board's dead, so I don't care, it'll go in the trash. I might practice on removing some of these ICs and putting them back on uh, as a little bit of an experiment. I mean, these boards are about 10 quid each, so it's not no, big, no, no major loss, but make sure you don't sell dud parts. Um, on this particular model, I don't think it's possible for a a failed Y buffer to kill the Y sustain, but I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, sorry, it wouldn't be able to kill the Y main because it's a Samsung. It's a Samsung board, yeah. Samsung logo. It's a Samsung Plasma TV. Um, let's test the other one. This is one half buffer, so you've got two buffers in a TV, in this type of TV. Um, meter like that you'll be able to see it uh, oh, we're, we're not really looking for a particular value we're just looking for the beep listening for the beep so again find the, the sus node on here it's on this connector this is from an older generation but also a 720p plasma 
uh, also a Samsung. So I'll run along here. Reading is changing, so we may have a suspect. Get it right. Ah, there we are. There's one line at the very least is dead. So th this IT is burnt. Um, and I realised um, that the 30 ohm threshold of my meter may not be good enough because actually these uh, sustained drives can be quite high ohm edge, if that makes any sense. Yeah, we're definitely getting uh, so that chip there's toast. Uh, if we have a look here along this connector. All good. Also all good. So it looks like only a few lines and that failed, but as I um, expect, uh, what's happened with that is uh, we've had a, a, a failure of the um, sustain uh, main Y main board, which has damaged the buffer IC. It's not the panel that's failed, which damaged the buffer IC. It's the Otherwise, we'd see several ICs, but I expect. Um, so I will uh, probably practice on that smaller, on that uh, newer board. It's from a newer generation of Samsung Plasma that actually has um, uh, the upper and lower integration on a single board. This is a little split board, so I'll practice with pulling um, the chips off the newer generation, which isn't too difficult with a hot air station.